Hi, Sag. Well, there's this little project that we've done and it's something that is close to my heart. So I shared it with each of the Zodiac and I just want to know your opinion in the comments below. And it's a different way of reading. So do check it out and let me know. Divine Feminine. It is known that the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine goes through separations and trauma until finally the two will come into peace and harmony. An apology. You're waiting for an apology. How many times that you are gonna do this to yourself? <laughs> yeah, I heard you. You guys had so much plans, being together, getting back together again and again and again. Don't you ever get tired of what you're doing to yourself? It's just the constant promises that this person tries to give to you. And then what? Nothing. This whole time that you've been asking for my advice and telling you, stop, don't overthink this. Don't go into that rabbit hole again. But you don't listen. You really don't. The stress has gotten into you already. I know that. We've seen it how many times you crumble every time you don't hear from them day and night, ignoring your messages. <laughs> and even finally, hearing from them, but it is just breadcrumbs. That is just frustrating. I don't know why you do this to yourself. I don't know. I really don't know. What? They can't pick up the phone? That's the problem right there? Well, they're high and mighty and you, you know where they're at. You know what they do. And then here's the thing. They always say that they're going to change, they're going to do better, and nothing. You try to keep this relationship always afloat. It's you who works this relationship. And what kills me is, for what? The promise of having a long-term relationship? Hmm. Heard that. Never seen it. That's a problem. So what's next? Everything is just gonna be okay, like nothing happened? Again? Like nothing happened. And you're gonna be coming back here, asking me why you're doing this to yourself? It's on you. Relationship like this, takes loyalty and you've always asked them for that you always ask them for that you know the two of you can be together but someone has to be there you know not just compromising but giving it all like come on come on hey <sighs> just doesn't make sense doesn't make sense. Like, how much of time that you guys have spent together and yet you guys are not there and they're still flirting around, talking to other people? I mean, where does that put you? Where? I mean, what kind of relationship you're cultivating here? Because you're gonna go mad. 
you're gonna go talk to them and you're gonna say it's like okay we're done we're done and in the moment that this person responds or shows you some kind of interest there it is like nothing happened I don't think that's love. I don't think so. Because love and relationship is, as far as what I've seen, that's not something that you guys have. The only thing you come for me and advise is if you guys are gonna be back together and everything's gonna be fine. Tried to end it, wait it out. You waited it out. And the only thing you got. Some attention? Is that even worth it? I don't think so. Where's the love? That's what you need to ask yourself. Well, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's all on you. <laughs>